are you giving your heart what it needs? And I'm not talking about your boo. I'm talking about your actual heart. Hi, I'm Bernice Hunt and I am a brain health specialist. I work with women just like you who may be starting to notice a few memory challenges and I help you to stay sharp so that as you age, you can still travel, have fun with your grandkids, and experience new adventures without missing a beat. As a health coach, I've noticed that most people wait until after the damage has been done to their heart before they start addressing heart issues. And I get it. That's why they call it the silent killer because you don't really notice those things. It's, it's very noticeable, it's often overlooked. But our heart has a big job to do and it works non-stop and it needs to be maintained and sometimes even serviced. Our brain needs oxygen and water and it gets it from our heart pumping it up to it. And what affects our heart is going to affect our brain. If there is a problem anywhere in that heart system, there's going to end up being a problem with your brain. Now the problem could be with the pump, which is actually the heart that acts like a muscle and pumps that blood to your body. And it has to be strong. Or it might be a problem with your hoses, your veins and your arteries and your capillaries that have carried that blood through your body. Or it could be a problem with the actual fuel, the stream of blood that has, among other things in it, the oxygen and the water. You may not have enough oxygen or enough water. And so those things need to be checked on and addressed and, and cared for. So how do you maintain a healthy heart? Well, would you like a to-do list? On my Facebook page, Keep Your Brain Sharp, I have five things to do to keep your heart healthy. So you can go to that Facebook page and you can check that out. And have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? I have a YouTube channel, Keep Your Brain Sharp. Go ahead, get to it and subscribe on it because I'm always posting new videos for you to see. So, got to remember that what affects your heart affects your brain. And your brain's destiny is in your hands.